Hit Sports with ATL in 60 Seconds. I'm your sports reporter, Michael Moore. And I'm Braxton Taylor. And boy, we have a show for you today because this is our very first show for ATL in 60 Seconds. And we're going to show you exactly why Atlanta is the best place to be for sports. The best, Michael. We're going to be talking about the Falcons, the Braves, every sports team in Atlanta. So you're not going to want to miss it. Not at all. Not at all. Well, we're going to go ahead and talk about that game against Philadelphia because, boy, the Falcons Good. in that game, what did you think about it? Michael, I thought it was a, a very defensive game. The Falcons could not convert in the red zone. Absolutely, and that's one of the issues. And another issue had to be penalties. 18 penalties in that game for the Atlanta Falcons. That backed them up by over 150 yards. It's no wonder why they weren't able to score. Way too much. There's no way you can win a game with 18 penalties. Another wonder for this offense has to be with the offensive coordinator, Sarkeesian. There's been some doubts ever since last season. What do you think about his improvements and what he has to do? I, I definitely feel like there's uh, more to improve on. Um, he was in the press box um, last season, so now he's on the, uh, on the sidelines. Yes. So that has to make a difference because it's literally a different point of view for him. Definitely point of view. More noise, more sound, more everything. Well, one positive we definitely have to take away from this is that the defense made some great plays in that game. Unfortunately, though, we did lose an important defensive figure in Keanu Neal. Keanu Neal, the pro bowler. Um, you know, with that, it, Atlanta will be okay because they have enough depth in their depth, depth chart. To... Oh, you're definitely right about the depth bracket because there was DeMonte KZ who stepped up for Keanu Neal during that moment. In fact, he made the key play that made for the interception for Deion Jones possible. Deion Jones, the most exciting player to me in the NFL. Well, I wouldn't say NFL, but on the Atlanta uh, team, so Absolutely. that was very exciting. And he's going to have another opportunity next Sunday against the Carolina Panthers, and it's going to be right here at home in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So for those of you Atlantans that are going to be at that game, you better make sure that you rise up for your team. They're going to have a chance to restart their season, so that's going to be very exciting. So let's talk about the Braves. Absolutely. Yeah. The Atlanta Braves that knocked off the Arizona Diamondbacks 5-4. 5-4. The beginning of the game was very close, but towards the end, Atlanta really showed why they're the better team. Absolutely, and it was because of a great defensive play by, I believe it was, who was it, their shortstop? Swanson. Absolutely, Swanson. Dansby Swanson made a diving attempt in order to stop the ball from going up the field, and they were able to throw out the last guy at the home field. And he mentioned after the game that the reason they're, so, they're as good as they are is because they're like a family. Absolutely, and Brian Snicker really values that about his team, regardless of what doubt people might have, especially with the bullpen that's been giving up leads lately. But as long as the Braves keep on fighting, they have a good shot at making the postseason. That's right. And uh, Julio Tehran, let's yes. not forget about that. 1,000 career strikeouts. What a, what a stat for him. That is crazy. That's doing exciting. Doing great things. You know who else is doing great things? It's the Georgia Bulldogs! Go Dogs! They were able to get a win against South Carolina this weekend. That was a, um, very much a statement game, Michael. Yes. They proved that they are one of the best teams in the nation, if not the best team in the nation. Yes, and with their running backs, all having three touchdowns, Brian Harrion had one, you had DeAndre Swift who had one, and Elijah Holyfield. And with Harrion, um, he's the leader in that backfield. That's so that. that's one reason having that senior running back is definitely a positive. Absolutely. Having good leadership is always important on a team. And speaking of leadership, the quarterback play continues to be consistent with Jake Fromm being at the helm. Jake Fromm. He might, you know, um, he might be able to win the Heisman this year. What, you do, think you, what so? do you think about that? Well, con considering the fact that he has such great running back behind him with his entire defense as well, Jake Fromm may not be able to have that many plays going for him. He only had about, what, 13 passes the entire yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. But when the opportunities come for him, he can definitely prove himself. Yeah, you, you persuaded me there. <laughs> so we want to know what you think, Atlanta. Why do you think the Philadelphia Eagles were able to get a win against the Atlanta Falcons this weekend? And what do you think about the Atlanta Braves entering the postseason soon? Don't forget to follow us at ATL in 60 Seconds on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, speak, speak up, Atlanta! Atlanta.